Hey what's up everybody it's Infinity and in this tutorial we are going to learn to stick up a few things onto the wall so let's see what we are going to create today. Pretty cool right? Okay before starting see that you download the project files the link is in the description. So once you have downloaded let's import it in After Effects so select everything and import it onto the project manage on the project window and once we have done we'll we'll see that a footage called haunted underscore trial so select and drop on this little icon to create a new composition so once we have dropped you'll see that we have a footage here and you'll see that it's right off the back you'll see that it's 11 second long what we'll do is we'll trim the video to up to only up to five seconds because you know we don't need simply it will increase the rendering time so just for the tutorial case let's i'm going to trim it down to five seconds so i'm going to the six seconds mark and i'm just hitting b on my keyboard you'll see that this marker has come onto the time indicator so once we've done we'll see that just right click in here and select trim come to work area now our footage is only five seconds long the next thing we need to do is we need to track our scene so let's search for the tracker panel if you cannot see the tracker panel just go to window and right here it will be tracker just select it so select your footage and select track camera you'll see that it has started analyzing and it may take some time depending upon the upon your pc and you can see the progress right here in the effects control panel if you cannot see the effects control panel just go to window and effects control you can see that it has started it may take up like one to two minutes so once it is done it will solve the camera and <laughs> the tracking is done now if you cannot see the tracking point see that you have selected your layer and then the 3d camera tracker effect now you will see the points you, it's important to select the 3d camera tracker effect or if your point is too small just go to the advanced no just go to track point size and track point size and increase it until it's visible now what we'll do is we will set up by the way just press the tilt key to maximize the window what we'll do is we'll set up a poster right here on this portion of the wall so just hover here and you'll see that you'll see a red target somewhat like here and just right click and select create solid and camera now you'll see that we have a red solid tracked right on the wall by the way if you need to align it or if it's a little crooked just select the layer and hit R on your keyboard and now you can rotate it so I think mine is almost aligned so I don't need to align it more Mm, maybe just a little yeah playback and it looks good so what we'll do the next thing what we'll do is just select the image that you have downloaded and import it onto the uh, this thing on the timeline and just fit it to screen just scale it down until it fits your screen by the way if you try to scale it down you might see that it's not scaling it's stretching you just need to hit shift and now you can scale it down okay so once we have done we'll pre-compose a uh, image so right click other if you double click by mistake you might go into the layer panel just go back to composition so we'll right click and we'll pre-compose and see that you have selected leave all attributes in the haunted trial and let's rename it to poster select okay now once you have done that now what we'll do is we'll make this image a 3d layer so just come down here and select this little cube right here or if you cannot see or if you cannot see this option just press F4 on a keyboard or toggle the switch. Now once you have done select on this little cube now it's a 3D layer. Now what we'll do is hit shift on a keyboard and select this pick whip tool of the image that is your poster layer and parent it to the track solid one. Now what this does is the poster layer copies all the properties the position scale and the rotation and onto itself so basically it replaces the track solid now if you see it has basically 
just replace the track solid the track solid is still there if you hide the percentage beneath so for now we don't need it so hide it and if you need you can adjust it again just hit r on your keyboard and adjust the rotation of directly from here if you're using the latest after effects version so this looks good now what we'll do we'll scale the poster so just hit s on your keyboard and scale it until you are happy or it looks good hit r and rotate or just come here to the rotation tool it will be right here and you can rotate it if you're using the older versions so this looks good it are just rotate until you get a good result okay this looks good now what we'll do is we'll composite our poster to our scene basically we'll match the color tones and the exposure and the sharpness of our scene to the poster so the first thing we need to see is the brightness now the poster is way more bright than our scene is so we need to fix that we need to decrease the brightness of our poster so just go come to the effects and presets panel if you cannot see it just go to window effects and presets and search for the effect curves so click and drop onto our poster layer and now come here and just click on this point and get it down until it's less until it's a little dark somewhat like this here's the before and here's the after i think i'll just align it once more uh, i feel it's a little off yeah so the first thing we have done is we have matched the brightness of our scene it totally depends on you just look at this scene and just match the overall brightness you get the idea right the next thing we'll do is check again see that you are uh, you are working in the full resolution now our poster is way more sharp than our scene is if you check our scene it's blur it's a little blur and obviously the things the new elements that you add from the net or if if you're trying to compose it will always be sharp and you will always most of the time you will need to decrease the sharpness of it so we'll search for the effect camera lens blur click and drop onto a poster layer and just increase it until it matches the whether you can turn off okay so just increase it to a value until you think that they both match I think a value of six or seven is yeah a value of 6.5 matches to our scene so we'll keep it by the way if you're just trying to increase the radius and you know it just it's just too fast what you can do is you can hit control and now you can decrease you'll see that it decreases gradually and slowly whereas if you hit shift and increase it will increase 10 times faster so just hit control and decrease it gradually yeah the next thing we'll do is we'll add in a effect called as tritone so search for the effect tritone click and drop onto a poster layer now what triton does it it will basically match the color scene so you'll see these three options called as highlights midtones and shadows what we'll do is we'll select the eyedropper tool of the highlights and sample it to the highlights of our scene so highlights and next select the midtones uh, eyedropper and sample it to the midtones of the scene somewhat like somewhere around here and then select the shadows eyedropper tool and the darkest part of your scene i think it's under this roof so i'm going to select it now you can just increase the blend with original value and you'll see that and you can adjust it until you feel it matches your scene so i'm going to keep a i'm just going to decrease and until it matches yeah a value of 33 as a before and as the after i think it matches this scene the next thing we'll do is 
whenever you capture anything through a camera there will always be some grain or noise in your scene so what we'll do we'll add some noise onto the poster so search for the effect noise and drop it onto a poster layer and just enter a value of around 6 to between 5 to 10 especially for outdoor scenes like this and it will match so let's see the before and after here's the before here's the before and here's the after before after okay so we have done with compositing now here comes the interesting part about this effect oh my god wow okay by the way see now i just messed up with the workspace and now what should i do to get it back it's simple just go to window workspace and reset standard to save layout you'll see that we are back okay so now open the poster composition and now what you can do here is you can drop in anything here and it will automatically update here that means okay let me show you i have given you the particles footage so click and drop onto this composition and just hit r and rotate it 90 degrees 90 and scale it until it fits your screen hit shift while scaling and what we'll do is we'll add some contrast to this so search for the effect curves and drop it onto a particle and just make a s curve to get some contrast and change the blending mode to screen if you cannot see this mode when uh, menu just hit f4 on a keyboard to get it and now if you play you'll see that we have something like this in this composition but now if you just go to the haunted trial you'll see that let's decrease it to half res you'll see that it has basically integrated there there's no need to track or no need to color correct the particle layer all you need to do is just drop in your uh, whatever the particle or anything else you like and it will automatically update here in this composition now what we'll do is let me do a quick thing i'll just add in something else now suppose if you need to add something else or if you need to add in another poster or if you need to just do anything else like let me show you i'm going to just put in one of my old video and you can see i have just added it here i have done nothing but now if you go back here we have it here playing there now this was just the basic idea of tracking and compositing what you can do is you can record anything like near your house and you know just take up anything advertise do anything you like but only in a good way yeah so hope you guys as always hope you guys learn something new from it i am infinite and i'll see you next time bye bye I've seen that.